Yo guys, before we get started with the video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to join the Braniacs. And also guys, make sure you guys turn on post notifications on to know when I daily upload and live stream. With that being said man, let's get straight to the video. Yo, what is going on guys? Brand new coming at you guys with a brand new Fortnite video guys. And in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the brand new Fortnite coming to mobile on iOS platform. But before we get started, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe new, turn post notification guys, and join the channel guys, join the family man, join the brand new man, but let's get started. Alright guys, so basically the game that you guys are playing right now, Fortnite Battle Royale, whether it's an Xbox, PS4, or PC, the game you're playing right now is coming to cell phones not all cell, phone, cell phones but only to ios platforms you guys don't know why ios it's all apple uh iphones so basically all iphones i don't know if ipods or ipads will work i really don't know about that um you will need access to the internet so obviously wi-fi will work but i still don't know about the ipad and all that but basically we have a lot of information covering this guys i know i'm late on this topic and all that but Today we're just going to cover up more information that some of the uh, other YouTubers have not. We got more de in-depth uh, information about the how it's going to work, how it's going to be played, and how you will get a code to be able to access the full game. So basically guys, they said Fortnite, the official account of Twitter of Fortnite Epic Games, they said they were, they were going to release the full game on uh, iOS on Monday. This Monday coming up, which is uh, probably two days from today, and we're all gonna be able to see um, the whole Fortnite mobile uh, look. And they said that this game will not be in the App Store; it will be uh, an invite game session, kind of. So basically, they're gonna send an invite to your Epic Game account, and the only way you can get it is basically by having an Epic Games account. That way, they can contact you by email and send you a game download link, as they said. And as soon as you get the game link downloaded, you will receive some uh, game codes that you can share out with your friends. So if you got, uh, if you, if your friends do not have any type of uh, Epic Games account, then you guys can go ahead and give them some uh, Fortnite codes for they can download it for free. And that link that you will get by Fortnite will direct you all the way into the App Store just to download the game. So it's kind of like a private game, uh, private game. But I said they are going to be pushing uh, further updates to, for everyone to get it. And to participate, you will need an internet connection, LC and iOS 11 on the latest device that you are. They said on at least an iPhone 6S, SE, iPad Mini 4, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro, iPad Air 2, iPad 2017 devices. So iPad 2017 devices and above. All iPads uh, are going to be able to access it. Not all of them. Make sure you guys are running on iOS 11. If it's iOS 10, you will not be able to get this uh, Fortnite game. Uh, and then we do have some information about uh, the platforms that we are going to be going against. So, basically, a lot of people have been having a lot of questions about crossplay with console PC. If it will be optional and all that. And how would it work? How would the game really be if like you can obviously play with your friends on PS4 or PC? So, that's... That said, Epic Games announced yesterday that Fortnite Battle Royale would soon be coming to mobile devices with an individual beta on iOS starting Monday 12th. One line that caused a lot of confusion was Fortnite Battle Royale will support cross-play and cross-progression between PlayStation 4, PC, Mac, iOS, and eventually Android. This means players across devices can squad up with friends and play together. A lot of people interpreted this mean to being that Battle Royale matchmaking will now include players from all platforms, pairing them up to fights against each other, but this isn't the case. This was created by Nick Chester on Twitter who is saying that crossplay is optional for those who want to squad up. So, if you guys are thinking, oh, I'm going to go against PC players on my iPhone, that is optional, guys. Um, obviously, not just for PC, but for Xbox and uh, PlayStation 4. Uh, there's actually, uh, uh, like, I'll show you guys a screenshot right now. Alright guys, so this is like the PlayStation platform and Epic Games. So basically, it's optional if you want to play cross-play with PS4, or Xbox, or PC. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a type of like optional choice as I said and provided. Um, so you're not going to be able to play with like... Like it's not going to be 24 7 playing cross-play. It's going to be optional for you guys. Uh, say you don't have a PS4, or PC, or Xbox. You only have an iPhone or a cellular device. 
and you're gonna be wanting to play with your friends. Well, that is the way how it's gonna work, guys. Uh, you're gonna be able to play with Xbox, PS4, and PC. So you can either choose which one do you want to play with, crossplay, and that's how it's gonna work for Fortnite Battle Royale, uh, crossplay for uh, Fortnite Battle Royale. And I wanna hear you guys' opinions on is this gonna come good? Is this game gonna cause lag? Is it gonna be hard to control building, playing, and having some smooth gameplay? How is the FPS gonna work? Are we gonna have 60 mega frames? Who knows? Fortnite said it will run the same settings as usual as they have right now for PS4 and Xbox and PC. Uh, obviously, the button layouts will be different. And I, for I forgot to cover up, but. You will not be able to use a controller for iOS. You guys don't know, uh, like technology is getting smarter. You were able to play uh, with a little controller that you could get on Amazon or any type of store that connects to your iOS device, and basically you can use that control to control the buttons of the screen. So basically, you could play like with a controller. But this case, they already covered it. This will not be uh, useful for uh, Fortnite Battle Royale. So. If you guys wasting money uh, already trying to buy a controller, this will not work for Fortnite Battle Royale on uh, mobile devices. But yeah, guys, that's basically all I wanted to cover up in this video, man. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think this game is going to be a bad or good idea for uh, all cellular devices. And more further to come, uh, this will be available in an Android in the future. So make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this video. Drop a like. And let's try and hit this 3.2k soon, guys. And I appreciate it for you guys watching. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.